Hey everybody, welcome back to this Friday edition of The Loop. All week this week, we've been looking together at the Old Testament book of Esther. Mordecai and Esther found favor with God, and then they found favor with their king. But the thing I respect about them most is that they don't see their position as a privilege. They see it as a responsibility. They don't use their influence to advocate for themselves. Instead, they use their influence to advocate for God's people. And because of that, the Jewish people weren't just able to live. They were able to live in happiness. Esther chapter 8, starting in verse 16, says this, For the Jews, it was a time of happiness and joy, gladness and honor in every province and in every city to which the edict of the king came. There was joy and gladness among the Jews with all kinds of feasting and celebrating. That didn't just bring joy to the Jewish people. This story actually brought joy to Esther and Mordecai. They were able to look at their life and see purpose. They were able to see how their life made a real difference in the lives of others. This is a beautiful picture of how Jesus lived his life. He always used his position and his power to serve others, not himself. He washed the feet of his disciples. He used his power to heal the sick and raise the dead. He laid down his life so that others might know eternal life. Even now, he sits at the right hand of the Father in heaven where he advocates for his people. That doesn't just bring us joy. It brings Jesus joy. This is the way in which we should all be living our lives. And so today, and really every day, use whatever position you have and whatever power you have to help someone else rather than helping yourself. It won't just bring them joy. It will bring you joy as well.